Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over our split contract and how you can use it to split revenue from your smart contract deployments. With split revenue, you can divvy up the revenue that you earn from your smart contracts, whether it's a marketplace contract, an NFT drop, an addition drop, or any contract that is receiving some sort of fund. With a split contract, you can collect those funds and then divvy up that accordingly to the specific wallets that you list within the split contract. This is great if you're building a project and you have multiple team members that you need to pay out or split the profits with. With a split contract, you can take everyone's wallet address, specify what percentage that each wallet is going to receive. And with the single click, you can distribute those funds to those wallets according to the percentage. So in this tutorial, we're gonna do an NFT drop as an example. We're first gonna deploy our split contract and set up some of the wallets that we wanna distribute the funds to. Then we're going to deploy our NFT drop contract, set it up with our split contract, and we'll see how everything works. So with that being said, let's not waste any time and let's jump right onto the computer. So on my computer here, uh, I'm on thirdweb.com. You can connect to your wallet here. Let's connect it right now. We'll connect our MetaMask. And once you are connected, we're going to view contracts and we're going to deploy a contract. And if you scroll down, you might see the split contract in marketplaces. You may also see it in the DAO or governance section here. Uh, both of them are both the same split contract, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. You can just select one of them, and then you can read a little bit more about the split contract and how it works. But right over here, we're going to hit deploy now. We're going to name this. We're just gonna call it a split test. Uh, we'll just give it a symbol of split. Uh, you can add an image, you can add a description to your split contract. Uh, but right here, the split settings, this is where we're going to put in the wallet addresses that are going to receive the percentage or share percentages. So we just need to copy our wallet addresses here. So I'm going to uh, copy this one here. Uh, we're going to paste it in. You'll put in the percentage. So we'll do uh, three wallets, um, but we'll do different percentages. So we'll give this one a uh, 40%. Uh, and you can see that your total here needs to equal 100%. So you won't be able to continue until you add all the wallets and the shares equal 100%. So we'll hit add. We'll grab another wallet here. Copy that address. Put it in. Uh, we'll give this one, um, let's just say, uh, 25%. And then we'll add another one. And let's get another wallet address here. We'll copy that. We'll paste that in there and the remaining. So that's 35%. And then we have a total of 100% right over here. We can select the chain. It's going to be the same chain that we are going to deploy our NFT drop collection on. So I'm going to use Mumbai, which is Polygon's testnet. And we're going to select deploy now. Then we'll confirm that transaction and we'll sign to add it to our dashboard. Once that successfully deploys, you'll be brought to your contract dashboard here. And we can see this contract address right over here. This is going to be the contract address that we need when we deploy our NFT drop collection because we'll set this as the address that will get the payments um, from the drop. Now you can see in the left-hand navigation here under extensions, we have balances. And balances here, this is going to load our uh, wallets and how much a total balance does this contract hold? So in our NFT drop, when people or users purchase an NFT from it, instead of getting directly deposited to a specific wallet, it's gonna be deposited to this split contract. And then once we want to distribute the funds in our split contract or whatever the balance is here, we'll come back in here and you can see right now the split recipients are the three different wallet addresses that we put right here with the different percentages. And once we do have a balance, we'll be able to distribute that uh, accordingly to these wallet addresses and their percentages. So that's all we need to do with the split contract. We're gonna copy this contract address here because we're gonna need it for our NFT drop. Uh, we're gonna open up a new tab here for our contracts. Let's deploy a new contract and let's do an NFT drop contract here. So we'll hit deploy now, and then we'll just do a, call this a split drop, and we'll just call it S drop. And for royalties, you can do the same for royalties as well. So we can paste in that contract address and the royalties, let's just say 3%. 
Same thing goes for primary sales. We don't want it to go to this wallet address. We want it to go to our split contract. And you can also do it the same for platform fees. But we're just going to collapse that. Uh, again, we're going to make sure that the network or chain that we deploy on is the same as our split contract, which is the Mumbai testnet. And we're going to select deploy now. Go ahead and confirm the transaction and sign that message to add it to your dashboard. Once we have deployed our NFT drop contract, you can check out the contract checklist here. First one has been completed already, which was deploying our contract. The next step, we have to upload our NFTs and it says to head on over to the NFTs tab and upload your NFT metadata. You need to click the link here or in the left hand navigation under the extensions tab here, you'll see the NFTs. So in NFTs, again, here you can single upload and do each NFT individually and add its own metadata. Or if you have all of your collections metadata prepared, you can do a batch upload. And we have example CSV and example JSON files here that you can download and use that as an example to create your metadata. But if you have that, you can click and drag it here and it will add all your NFTs into there and batch upload it for you. We're going to do just a single upload and we're only going to upload a couple NFTs here. So if we do single upload. Uh, I'm just going to call this uh, NFT 01. I have an image here that we can use and you can add your description. You can add your properties and traits. And what we're going to do is just lazy mint this NFT to our smart contract, which will have the NFTs metadata and everything on our smart contract, but it won't be owned by a wallet just yet. So we'll lazy mint that NFT here. We'll confirm that transaction. And you can see we have our NFT lazy minted to our contract. Uh, we don't have a wallet that owns it just yet. Uh, we're going to do this one more time just for one more NFT so we can uh, mint two for an example. So I'll get an image of a second NFT here and then lazy mint that to our contract. And we'll confirm that transaction. And once that has been successfully lazy minted, you can now see we have our two NFT tokens here in our NFT drop contract. For this example, this is an NFT drop contract and we're going to allow people to purchase these NFTs and the funds that we get from people purchasing are going to be deposited into our split contract. Now, with an NFT drop contract, we do need to set up claim conditions. So actually, if you head on over to the overview page, you can check out the contract checklist again. And we completed step two, which was uploading our NFTs. Now, step three is to set the claim conditions and users will be able to claim your drop only if a claim phase is active. So again, if we don't have anything active, even though we have NFTs, no one can claim these NFTs just yet. So on the left hand navigation under NFTs, there is the claim conditions. So if we head there. You can see we don't have any phases added yet, but we can hit add phase. And depending on what kind of claim phase you want to do, if it's only uh, the owner of the contract that can mint NFTs for free, or if you have an allow list or anything, a uh, list of wallets that can claim, you can select those as well. Uh, but for this, we're just going to do public. Now, for this example, we are going to charge uh, for the NFT just because we can see how much just so we can get some Matic to deposit uh, into our contract. So I'm just going to put 0 0.025 Matic is what it's going to cost. Uh, we only have two NFTs in this drop and we just leave the how many NFTs can be claimed per wallet to unlimited. Uh, but we'll hit save there. We'll then confirm this transaction to save it. And once that has been saved, you can see that our public is currently active and you can kind of see what the conditions are for that drop. Now, if we head back to our NFTs tab here, you can actually claim NFTs directly from your contract dashboard. So we can actually let's switch wallets here. So this is as if we are someone who didn't deploy the contract. So we are on this new wallet here. Uh, you can see that the same dashboard shows up, but we can't uh, single batch or batch upload NFTs just because we aren't the owner of this contract, but we can claim NFTs. So if we hit claim, we can claim a certain amount. We'll just do one for this example here and we can claim an NFT. It'll bring up a transaction. We just have to confirm it. Right. And you can see here uh, token ID zero or the first NFT is now owned by our new wallet that we just minted it with. Now, normally with an NFT drop collection, the funds, so the 0 0.025 uh, 
uh, Matic would normally go directly to the wallet that deployed the contract or whatever wallet address you set it as. Uh, in this example though, we use the split contract as the payment destination. So that 0 0.25 actually went to our split contract here. And you can see now if we go to our contract under that balances section, uh, we have Matic here and we have 0 0.025 is our balance. And you can see here, we can now distribute the funds and it will distribute to our split recipients down here. Now, if you are connected to the contract dashboard with a wallet that is supposed to receive these funds, which this wallet is actually one of those wallets, you can see that our actual share is going to be 0 0.00625 because this wallet is getting 25% of the balance funds that are in this contract. So we can do this again, say someone else comes, claims an NFT, we'll claim one more. I didn't show this in the last one, but you can see where we're getting uh, charged the 0 0.025 here. We'll confirm that. And we claimed our second NFT. We can come back to our split contract, give it a moment, and you can see we now have 0 0.05 Matic in here, and this wallet will be getting 0 0.0125 of that balance right there. Now again, this split contract can be used for anything that is going to receive payment. So an NFT drop contract, a marketplace contract that is collecting marketplace fees. Uh, if we come back to a contract here, I'll show you an example. So if we go deploy contract and say we select the marketplace and we hit deploy the platform fees here. So say you are a marketplace and your platform fee is, uh, let's just say 1.5% you can put the uh, split contract address as the recipient address and any of the platform fees that that marketplace collects will be deposited into your split contract. And then the split contract can then divvy up and distribute those funds to the specific wallets. So again, you can use that split contract, especially if you have a team or you need to divvy up funds or fees to specific wallets, you can set the percentage and you can set the wallets that the funds need to be distributed to. And let's just take a look back at that split contract again. We'll go to balances. And right now we'll just take a look at this wallet. It has 0.202 Matic. Now this wallet is going to receive some funds. So it is going to receive 0.0125 Matic uh, when we distribute the funds here. So we'll switch back over to the wallet that we deployed with. Uh, you can see even this wallet is going to receive 0 0.02 Matic. So this one has 7.35 Matic in it currently. We'll distribute the funds. We'll confirm that transaction. And once that has been distributed, we'll give it a moment. And you can see here that this wallet now owns 7.361. And we can come back to the other wallet really quick. And that wallet now owns 0.215 Matic. So again, those funds were distributed uh, according to the percentage that we set when we deployed our split contract. And there you have it. That is how you can use the split contract and use it as a way to divvy up a payment to different wallet addresses. You can set the percentage, what wallet addresses are supposed to receive those funds. That way, if you're working on a project and you need to pay out a percentage to certain team members, you can do so with the split contract. Again, this works at contracts like NFT drops, addition drops, and marketplaces, or any type of smart contract that is receiving a form of payment. So again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video you found some value in it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on a notification bell so you don't miss out on tutorial videos just like this. If you haven't joined our Discord community yet and joined the amazing community of builders just like yourself, you can check out the link down in the description. If you have any questions or you need any support, drop it in the Discord and we'll be happy to help you out. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.